Hey guys, it's Aquila from a Lefty Knitter Podcast, and I'm here today to do a mini tutorial about using the Ravelry hashtag on Instagram. I use this tag all the time. I think there's lots of people that know to use it, and I think there's people out there that don't know how to use it, and don't know that Casey from uh, the Code Monkey on Ravelry has integrated the hashtag to link up with um, the Ravelry page. That's my kid. Also, I don't know all the technical terms on Code Monkey stuff. I've never done a tutorial before. I don't have the right equipment to really have a correct setup to try to film this. So I'm doing my best and I'm hoping this looks okay. Maybe if I do more tutorials in the future, I'll get like equipment to make this work. Um, also, my family is all home and my, you know, toddler is loud. So I apologize also in advance for any craziness you hear in the background. I got this idea because Chevis from Chevrolet Stuff Podcast did a tutorial on beginner's Instagram, like how to sign up, post stuff, use hashtags, all the beginner type stuff. So if you've been hesitant about uh, using Instagram, you really should go to her podcast, her YouTube channel. I'll put a link below for the video. Go check it out. And maybe you've never used the Ravelry hashtag, so you can learn about that here. But to get all the beginning stuff, you definitely should watch her video. It's great. Her podcast is great. I give it. Three thumbs up. I'll be switching the camera around. I also did some prep work by posting pictures to my Instagram page already using the hashtag Ravelry. So it's already set up so I don't have to like stop, take a picture, post it on Instagram. I didn't want to do that four or five times during this tutorial. Uh, to and, and slow it down. I feel like if you watch the basics video from Chevis, you will know how to already post a picture. All you'll need to do is use the Ravelry hashtag to follow up with what I'm going to show you. So I've already posted four pictures, all with the Ravelry hashtag, all with the word test, just because I'm probably going to go back and delete them. I, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Sorry, my setup again is not great. I'm using my tablet to show you and my phone to video. So, yikes. Okay, first things first. You have to set up your Ravelry page before using the hashtag feature. It might already come defaulted this way, but I'm not really sure because mine's been set up this way. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your, so this is, you know, Ravelry, most people know this. You go to your profile and you go to edit profile. And once you're there, you're gonna see that you can fill in all these fields. Down here where it says other social sites, you need to go to add or change sites. Mine is already there, but I'm gonna show you. Add or change sites. And here, you can put in all these different sites that you might use. I hope this is focusing. It doesn't look like it's focusing. There we go. That looks a little better. I think because my finger keeps coming forward and taking it out of focus. So right here where it says Instagram, you're going to type in your Instagram name exactly how it is or else it will not make the connection from Ravelry to Instagram. You will then save sites and profile. You'll also hit save changes. Now after you've done that, you'll also need to go and change something in your message box preferences. So you'll go to your messages, message box, and you're gonna go to email and blocking. 
when you go here, you're going to see this line here that says Instagram settings. Message me about adding photos to Ravelry when I tag them with hashtag Ravelry. You want to make sure that is on yes. Now once that's all set up, this is where you can start going and take photos using the hashtag Ravelry. So at this point, I'm just going to show you the four pictures that I took. They're not very great. So this is your main, when you go to Instagram, usually when you open your Instagram page, it's on your main feed with all your people that you follow. And to get to your pictures, you will go to this little icon at the bottom that's a picture of a person. Here are the four pictures I used. A picture of stash yarn, a picture of a project, a picture of fiber, and a picture of a project that I have not yet added to my Ravelry page because I want to also show you that you can start a project by using this uh, Instagram Ravelry hashtag that sends the message to your inbox. So here's my four pictures and when you hit that icon it shows them in a list and you can see that I've said well, you might not be able to read it because my setup is not great, but it does say test Rose City Rollers for Z, hashtag Ravelry, and then I explained why I was posting these and I just wrote that I'm currently filming a tutorial on how to use the hashtag Ravelry to add project pictures to your Ravelry page. Wish me luck because I need it. So now we're back on Ravelry. And I want to show you, since I've already hashtagged those photos, I'm going to have four messages, four new messages in my inbox, and you can see that I have, well, I have seven, but that's because I have old ones that I haven't uh, taken care of, I guess. So you will get from, it'll say from Ravelry notices, the subject line will always be new Instagram photo, and then it will use the caption that you put on Instagram. So you can see that it says on mine, test the hobbledy hoy battlings, test mom socks, etc. From this point, you can add these pictures in different ways. I'm going to first show you that I can just add a picture to an already existing project that I have on my page. So I'm going to click on mom socks because I know I already have a page for this and it will say you tag this photo with, Rav with Ravelry would you like to add it as a project or stash entry and yes I would thank you very much and from here it puts it it gives this is where it gives you all the options and this is where you can add new projects stash yarn spun yarn etc it gives you a picture of what you posted. And because I already have Socks for Mom here in progress, I'm gonna click Socks for Mom. It takes you to your photo page. You can then drag the photo to reorder. Sorry, it even says it right there and I'm just being ridiculous. Tap and hold a photo to reorder. So if I want to make this my first picture, I just drag it. Or if I want to recenter the photo, you click this and you can recenter it how wherever. So I'm going to just make it kind of in the center. So that's where you add a project, a picture to an already existing project. I'm going to go back to my notebook and I'm going to show you how to create a new project. So, message box. Blow that up a little. So, I just started these Rosity Rollers um, for my daughter. So, there's no project yet for those. So, yes, I would like to add this photo. And then up here, the first two options are stash new or create new. I'm going to create a new project. My project name, I'm, I'm just going to make this quick and easy. So I'm just going to type rose. 
Now you can type in the whole project name, whatever you want. You can choose the craft and you can hit continue. From here, it takes you straight to the editing page for your project. So it's already in editing mode right now. You can, at this point, you can add the pattern name. You can add the needles you're using. You can add the yarn you're using. I'm actually using stash yarn, so I can click the stash yarn button and I can make all these edits. I can do my start date, everything. And then you would hit save changes. So now that I've made this project, I wanna also show you that you can go straight to, instead of going to your message box, you can actually go straight to your project page that you know you have a picture and Instagram from. You go to the photo tab, and at the top, you can upload from Android. Now, if you're using iPhone or uh, Apple products, I'm not sure what, what the tabs are, but this is what it gives you if you're using Android. You can upload from Android. You can use Instagram, Google, Flickr, upload from a URL, and there's a settings tab. You can go straight to your Instagram since it's already linked. You can see all the pictures that you posted on Instagram. It doesn't pull just the Ravelry tagged photos. It pulls all of your Instagram photos. So if I wanted to, it, and it shows you've already linked this one, so that's kind of cool. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to link my kid because it's for her and just to show you that you can do this. So now that I've clicked on that picture, you can click as many as you want. You can see that it put it down here. You can drag to reorder, which I'm going to drag that one to the front because I want that one to be my top picture. You can also add captions at this point using the pencil tool. And then you want to click finished with photos. So now you can see when it goes back to the project page, you can see both pictures are now there. You can see how they were added, which is by using Instagram. Sometimes you might not go to the message box and you can go straight to the photo tab and add your picture that way. And, and that's a great way to add pictures also. So I'm going back to my message box and I'm gonna show you that you can add a stash yarn the same way. So now you can see that I have, the first one I didn't put uh, the, what, I was, what I was taking the picture of. So here's a picture of some Knit Picks Felici, and yes, I want to add this photo. And yes, oops, I want to make a stash yarn. It is a commercial yarn. You can type in a name, so I'm just going to type in... Felici, you hit continue. And it then pulls up all the different yarns that it could be. I picked this one because I knew it would be easy to find, and it is the first one. So I want to choose this yarn, Felici from Knit Picks. There's my stash page for this yarn. And it brings you again to the editing screen. I can add in the colorway, I can add in how much I paid for it, and any notes that I want to add, I then will hit save stash. And there it is. So you could add as many pictures as you wanted. I always like to take two pictures because I take pictures of the front of the label and the back of the label. I usually do not use my Instagram for this, but there are instances that you could just use your Instagram for this because maybe you want to show people the new yarn that you bought and then once you've taken the pictures you can post them. I'm going to show one more option which is stashing your fiber or I should say stashing your hand spun because you cannot stash fiber straight from using the Ravelry messages. So what I'm gonna do is show you the best way to add your hand spun. So you then can go, You well, what you need to do for this is you go to your notebook and you go to stash. 
from here you have all the different tabs of yarn, fiber, used, blah, blah, blah. So you want to go to fiber stash. You want to add to your fiber stash like you would add uh, any other yarn. So name for this, this is my hobbledehoy. And hobbledehoy. And then hit continue. So here's my fiber. It takes me to my editing page. I am then going to hit save changes because I'm not going to edit any of this for time's sake. From here I can go to my photos. I can go to, oops, sorry, Instagram. And I can pick my hobbity hoy. Now adding fiber, well, I, I, I did this option because I want to show you how to actually add hand spun. But you can stash a hand spun yarn, but you can't go back and then link the fiber that you used. I personally like to link my fiber that I used to my hand spun yarn. So to, to make this work with the Ravelry hashtag, you actually have to stash your fiber first, which is what we've just done. I've added the picture using the Instagram tab, which is fine. So now that I can see the fiber there, I can then say make yarn and call it, keep the same name, create the project. So you have to create your project first. So now that I've created my project and I've had my fiber there, just for this tutorial's sake, I can then, I wanna save it. So now I actually have a project page. It is a hand spun yarn project page. But now I actually have my fiber linked, which you can't do after the fact. So if you stash your hand spun yarn, you can't link it after the fact. So if we go back to my notebook and we go to the message box again, there's my hobbledehoy battlings, but this is not, this, it's going to add the same picture. I don't even know if it will actually let me add the same picture, but we're going to try. So yes, add this photo. And it's use an existing yarn. See, so you have to already have the yarn page created before you can stash the hand spun that you've made. So I'm going to click hobbledy hoy hand spun. This doesn't have any pictures for this project because I haven't added any. And just like I said, we're just using the same picture for the sake of the tutorial. So now that we go, whoops, we go back. That's not what I wanted. Now that we can go. Now that we can go back to my notebook and my hand spun tab, you can see that there's my hobbledy hoy that will be actual hand spun yarn eventually when I do spin it, but it also will have my fiber linked. You can see that I've done this previously with other projects, like my Malabrigo Noob. You can see that my, and you can see I've used my Instagram pictures and Noob. And then there's the link to my fiber stash page. Here's one thing that you can't do. You cannot use hashtags in your Ravel or in your Instagram stories. They will not work. You have to use the Ravelry hashtag only on the main pictures on your Instagram page. So only in the pictures that come up under your profile with the hashtag Ravelry will show up as a Ravelry message. The other thing you can't do is add, is use a post that has multiple pictures. This post has more than one picture and 
you can see there's one the front and the back so when this hashtag to Ravelry it only gives you the first picture so if you want multiple pictures to link on your Instagram to your Ravelry you have to post them as individual posts so I would have had to post this as two posts not one to so some, most people, if you use Ravelry, will know you can select multiple. You can't use that option. Another part that I wanted to touch upon in this tutorial was you can take pictures of old projects, any projects that you've done, and add them to project pages that are on your Ravelry page. I recently wore a shawl that I made probably four years ago. I don't remember uh, which project that was. I wish I could remember and I would show you. Here was where I was working on my Sunset Highway. Now this project is already done but say I wore it a year from now and it was a really super cute picture and I wanted to post it on to Ravelry for people to see. You can do that. So yes, I want to add this photo like you would normally do. Sometimes your project is not on the main screen when you click where do you want to put this photo. You can search for an existing project. So I know this was my Sunset Highway. If you remember the name of the project, it really helps. Or maybe you remember the name of a yarn that you may have already linked in there. It'll find it that way also. So when I type in Sunset, you can see it pulled up three pictures. I'm not quite sure why it pulled up those two, but the word Sunset is possibly in my page for either the name of a yarn or something like that. But also my Sunset Highway showed up. Right there. I can click Sunset Highway. It'll add the picture, which that picture is actually not in my Ravelry page. Maybe I never added it, or maybe because it's a duplicate, it's just overriding the one I had. This is more of a progress photo, so I'm going to drag it to the end because, you know, most people want to see the finished object photos at the top. And from this point, like I said, you can, well, this one's not letting me do it apparently, but usually you can drag and recenter the photo if it needs to be recentered. And now that I've added it, I don't have to hit save down here. Sometimes when you add the photos from the tab page and you're uploading them, you have to actually click save photos. So this is a great way to go and add like a picture of an older project that you may wore today and made five years ago, but it was just a really great picture. And you put it on Instagram and then you can link it straight to your project page. I really hope that this was helpful. I use this a lot. I know, like I said in the beginning of this, there are lots of people that use the Ravelry hashtag already. But I have seen quite a few people that I follow that don't use the Ravelry hashtag. Maybe they didn't know that it was linked to Instagram and I, uh, to Ravelry. I know Casey has had some issues in the past with Instagram updating their platform or updating the app and there becomes some sort of disconnect. Again, I'm not a coding person. I don't know how any of that stuff works. So. And maybe this is a great way for people that don't add their projects as often, but they use Instagram all the time to then add their projects to Ravelry. So other people that use Ravelry can see the yarns they've used. They'll show up under the project so the designers can see projects being made on from their pattern and it just really enhances a lot of different things and aspects on Ravelry. Again, I hope this was helpful. I've never done this before. 
there was quite a few focusing issues. You can check out uh, Chevis's page, and I'll link that, to get beginner Instagram tutorial. Hopefully this will be a great follow-up for people that maybe just uh, don't use the hashtag already. All right, thanks guys, and happy knitting, crocheting, all the fibery goodness stuff. I'm not gonna lie, that was really hard.